We interrupt this program to bring you... I'm Hello everyone and welcome to Dad's Television News. Today we'll be taking a look at Avatar The Last Airbender. Finally. Watch out! You can run, but I'll catch you. I'm not running. It's time for this world to end in fire. You're the Avatar. I'm just one kid. It looks like this is the end. Zuko! We will rain fire that will destroy everything. Welcome everybody to Deadites Television Reviews, the new series that will take a look at some of your favorite television shows, and I will give my personal opinions on the quality of these shows. Now today I'll be looking at the epic Nickelodeon show, Avatar The Last Airbender. Avatar The Last Airbender was produced for Nickelodeon in 2005, and it lasted all the way until 2008. In its time, the show was critically acclaimed and had very high ratings. The show was even popular enough to have a spin-off series several years later, in 2012, called The Legend of Korra. Mind you, this is a fantastic show as well, but I will be sticking to the original series. The story centers around Aang, who is the latest in generations of the Avatars. An Avatar is somebody who can bend to all four elements, earth, fire, water, and air. They can use this ability for either good or bad, but most of them use it to fulfill their destiny. Aang has been missing for over a hundred years, and nobody understands why. During this, his absence, the Fire Nation has decided to start a war against all the other nations. We soon find out that Aang has been missing because in a last-ditch effort to save his life, he froze, in, he froze himself inside a big cube of water when he was about to drown. Aang is a member of the Air Nation, which means that he can bend air. But when he wakes up 100 years later, he finds out that the Fire Nation has completely wiped out the rest of the airbenders. Aang soon realizes that it's his duty as the Avatar to master all four elements and defeat the Fire Nation. The reason I began watching the show was because, you know, I heard some positive things about it. Some of my friends told me it was good, so I was like, you know what? Why don't I try it out? And I'm sure glad I did. I mean, seriously. Found it on Netflix and watched. I was hooked. I watched like an episode every day. And now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is at least in my top five favorite shows of all time, if not at the number one spot. The show takes a lot of risks in terms of how much violence that it shows. There's often many action scenes throughout every single episode, and it keeps the show fresh and entertaining. The best part about this show is the characters. The characters are all deep, and they have an arc. Where they start at the very beginning of the show is not how they are at the very end of the show. The beginning, they're very immature. By the end, they can handle themselves pretty well. My favorite character in the entire series is of Prince Zuko, who is seen here. He is the disgraced son of the Fire Lord Ozai. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who has not seen it, but I have to say, Zuko is one of the most complex characters I have seen on a show in some time. He struggles with who he really is constantly and you feel for him. The show can get very serious, but one thing that I always applaud it for is for always maintaining a balanced sense of humor. It it balances between the really dark stuff and the really light stuff. It, it can also be really funny, like in this scene. Look, can your fortune telling explain that? 
question. Can your science explain why it rains? Yes! Yes, it can! This show really knows what it's doing. It only had three seasons, but it tells a full and complete story within these three seasons. It has great character development, and it's very memorable. I give the show a perfect 5 out of 5. The show is available on Netflix streaming, and I highly recommend that you go check it out. As I said, it's only three seasons, and you won't regret it. In the near future on my blog, I will post a review of the entire series in much more detail, with spoilers and a list of my five personal favorite episodes. Well, thank you for watching my first episode of Dad's Television Reviews, and I hope to see you next time.